Would I rather have a sprouted coconut or would I rather have a coconut plant? I put this coconut in this bucket of water to see which would happen first. And this is what happened. Well, I wanted to grow a coconut from a coconut in any case. So after 24 hours of our coconut sitting in water, I took it out and placed it in a baggie filled with some more water and sealed it up airtight as well as I could. I had to make sure the eyes were facing down since coconuts have eyes and that's where the sprouts grow out of. I also had to make sure it had milk inside of it because that's what makes the coconut float and what makes the sprout grow up. So if you're doing this at home, just make sure it's got the milky goodness inside. And I thought 24 hours was long. Well now, I had to wait weeks to see if the eyes would start sprouting out little white roots. Well, this baby lived in its corner for a month until I was ready to check on it again. And as I opened up the baggie and took the coconut out, to my surprise, there was something special going on. A baby sprout looking like it was emerging out of the eyes of the coconut. I took it out of the bag to examine it and make sure it was actually a sprout because at this point I wasn't even sure. I thought maybe three sprouts would emerge from each eye, but I guess only one sprouts out. And I love doing these experiments because I'm always learning during the process, especially because of all of your comments. Well, I went to touch the sprout to see if it was indeed a sprout and it was gooey, it was a bit mushy, and I made the final call that it was a sprout. Coconuts are actually just huge seeds and apparently they aren't easy to grow from once they have the husk removed, but we try what's difficult, you already know that. So I put it back in its home after admiring it more than anything I've ever admired before and I waited another four weeks. After those four weeks passed, I opened up our little baggie that held our coconut child. Guess what I found? The sprout lying in the water. It just fell off the coconut and I wasn't sure why. But you know that on this channel, it's all trial and <coughs> So I got another coconut and did the entire thing again. Don't worry. I'll start at the success of the next sprout because after two whole months of this new coconut sitting in its baggie filled with water, I opened it up to reveal a sprout that did not indeed fall off and this sprout actually looked even bigger than the other sprout. And at this point in time, I asked myself, would I rather have a sprouted coconut or would I rather have a coconut plant? And at this point in time, I chose to open it up to see if our coconut was sprouted inside so we could enjoy the marshmallowy goodness. And honestly, it's a good thing that I chose to cut this open to see if it was sprouted inside because when I took it out of the plastic bag, the sprout literally fell out of the coconut and it did look like it might be sprouted inside. It wasn't hollow. So I was really excited to get to work and cut it open. So I started hacking at this thing to open it. And I truly do apologize in advance for this ratchet way of opening the coconut. Next time, I promise I'll smack it on its side using the back end of the knife and not vertically using the sharp end because I know I butchered this hard, okay, don't come at me. But finally, I opened it and the moment of truth was about to come. Was it sprouted inside or should we have kept it in its baggie to grow a coconut plant? Well, I learned the hard way that it clearly takes a lot bigger of a sprout for this coconut to have a marshmallow inside. And so I was basically out of luck here. It wasn't sprouted inside, but that's okay. You already know I cut this up and enjoyed it and ate it and got another coconut to try sprouting it into a plant this time because of course I also need a thriving coconut houseplant child this summer. So along the way, I learned that you can take a coconut and turn it into a sprouted coconut and either break it open and eat the inner sprout or you can choose to grow your own coconut houseplant. The best bet to grow a coconut plant is the initial way of submerging it in water while making sure it still has the milk inside, placing it in a baggie the next day airtight and then waiting for a sprout to grow and then planting it in soil once the sprout does grow. And you need a lot of sun. So remember that I live in Canada and that's the main reason why a lot of our experiments fail. But don't worry, I've got a lot of plans for the future to move somewhere a little warmer for some months of the year so that we can have more tropical plants and more success with them at that. As sad as I was, I was still feeling blessed to have been able to even try these two methods of growing coconuts and learning about what a sprouted coconut even is. I literally went to Mexico to find one after learning about it and found it and it was amazing. There's another YouTube video that you can watch on that, but quite lit. Nature is incredible and I'm glad I get to share these experiments with you regardless of whether or not they fail or succeed, even though the ones we do succeed at are that much more exciting. Clearly, this was a journey and a half and a wild ride. It's clear that this coconut has me in a chokehold and isn't letting go until we successfully grow a full plant and not this half sprout schnez. Just don't forget that on this channel, we take the seeds from inside exotic fruits and grow them into full blown house plants that fruit with this week the coconut taking front and center stage. Thank you so much for watching my channel this week. It would mean the world to me if you didn't forget to like, comment, follow, subscribe. Always remember that I love you and I'll see you next week.